Good afternoon and welcome to Vlogmas 2019 or the 12 days of Vlogmas in this case. Um, I am not looking a version of my best self right now, um, messy hair, all that kind of thing. We just got back from Florida yesterday. As you can see, there is mess, suitcases everywhere. Uh, we are trying to get ourselves organized while also being extremely tired, so that is never a good combo. But we're about to put the Christmas tree up. Ian is going to build the tree while I just do a couple of things, and then we are going to decorate it. So we're kicking off Vlogmas with decorating the Christmas tree, which is a perfect start. Um, but yeah, we are quite tired. Ian slept in till quite late today. I woke up at, I think, 9.30, so I didn't think that was too bad. But last night we were trying to watch Coco because my friend Claire bought it for me for my birthday and I still haven't watched it. There's just been so much going on so we tried to watch it last night and fell asleep so we finished it today. It was really good, a really lovely story and the end is just yeah so nice. So we are going to get this tree built and then uh, do some decorating. That's my favourite part, it's one of my favourite things at Christmas is decorating the tree. And Ian is sporting his Christmas jumper. This is, oh, you've gone out of focus because oh, no. of your spin. Sorry. There we go. Um, so this is from Merchanoid. They very kindly gifted us these jumpers. I have a Little Mermaid one and yeah. Ian's is The Nightmare Before Christmas. They're really warm, they're aren't so they? They're so warm, like they're really thick. Yeah. And really, really snugly and like warm. So, They've yeah. obviously like made them for winter for sure. I actually think we can turn the heating down a little bit now. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's really warm. We came back yesterday and it was freezing cold. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll turn the heating down now, I think, especially as we've got jumpers. I have my Haunted Mansion Spirit jersey, of course. Building has commenced. Yeah. Again, excuse the uh, mess out in the hallway. You can actually see our droid there. There's Ray Ray in the, um, mm. in the bag. And we have one of those Christmas trees where you kind of have the top separately and then you build the bottom of it, but each kind of twig <laughs> is like a separate yeah. thing. I'll show you as we go along. Um, it can be annoying putting it up. But we used to have a real tree and it would just die every time. So we didn't want to do that anymore. And we've had this one for years. It's a pole with a tapered end. Yep. Done. Oh, no? yay. You're more than that. Kinda. So we are currently watching the holiday to go along with our Christmassy festive feeling day here. We love the holiday. I do, I should say. Ian tolerates it and I love it. <laughs> it's such a good movie. And current status of our tree is uh, is this. This is kind of the pole that you put all of the branches into and Ian's about to put the top part oh, yeah. on. The top. And the top part is kind of already assembled so you can just kind of pull the branches down when you're ready to, but you don't wanna do that until the other branches are in. So it kind of looks like a bizarre tree I don't know what it looks like. Um, so yeah, Ian is going to get to work on putting these in. They're all colour coded. So basically you know which um, kind of level they go on. Yeah. And they just kind of slot in like that. And you do have to spend quite a bit of time pulling the branches out. And I found the best way to do that is to do one layer at a time. Yeah. If you wait till the whole tree is up, it's a bit difficult to get to some of the pieces. So yeah. This is, is how we're looking. The first layer is done. As you can see, it looks a bit weird at the minute because the others kind of stack on top and fill out the space. But pulling out the branches is like the most annoying part, I would say. Because <laughs> yeah. you have to get them fluffed up so that they're not sort of flat. But you can go around at the end and, you know, just make it look a bit better. So on to the next layer. It's always bigger than we remember, this tree, because I thought this was the perfect spot. But actually, it's going to leave quite tight space to walk into the living room i think but we'll see what happens i think it'll be okay yeah i think it'll be okay it's only going up to like yeah the carpet, yeah so, so it's, it's fine square. there we go we have our tree we still need to um kind of fill it out a bit and pull the branches down because you can see it looks a bit um gappy at the moment <laughs> but um yes yeah, so once you get it all in the right position and all your decorations on yeah see some of these are not even like yeah, there's some that are like hiding. Yeah, that when you put it back in the box, you have to really squash it down. So anyway, yes, well done, Ian. Thank you. <laughs> it's really hard. Every, yeah. Every year it's like bigger and more difficult than we think. <laughs> but it looks pretty good, right? Yeah, it will do once we've got our decorations and everything. And we've just ordered a pizza, which is very bad. We are going to be good from tomorrow onwards. I know it's Christmas, but we're going to try not to just drastically overeat just because it's Christmas, but we do need to um, 
be a bit better but tonight because we are so tired and we just got back we are getting a pizza um so i'm very excited for it let me know where you get your pizza from we always get papa john's um i kind of like domino's ian doesn't and pizza hut our local one doesn't recognize our postcode so whenever you want to get it delivered you have to ring up and then have like a whole conversation about it so we just um get ours from papa john's and it's actually really nice so can't wait so the pizza's here and look how cool this box is i love this that's so cool look at this guy wearing a pizza that is really really cute and they've got the igloo pizza oven and i have a veggie pizza which i'm super excited for i'm so hungry we haven't really eaten today because we've just been like sleeping or being crazy busy so i cannot wait to get into this one hour later so now for the worst part in my opinion <laughs> which is putting the lights on because you have to build the tree That's the it worst never part. well i i fluffed the tree out you so it looks tree. more tree like now i came back in from the other room and all of these lights that i've now untangled were just all wrapped up in one place on the they, they were how they came out of the box i just put them you on just there dumped them into the tree i was checking they were working this is how victoria would do the lights I just, I don't like doing it at all because I get stressed out. So I'm going to do that bit. Yeah. Okay. It's going to get harder and harder to get over the top, <laughs> it's isn't It's going it? well so far. The main trick is like not running out of lights before you get to the bottom because yeah. that's super annoying and then you have to kind of re... Go back and redo it all. Yeah, because if it's like too tight around the tree as well, you have to totally unravel it, which... I think we're like about halfway now. Okay. The tree gets fatter at the bottom. Obviously. Yeah, so... so that seems about right yeah and these lights have different settings so at the moment it's on the kind of like glowy flashing setting um i never like it on the fast setting no, because i feel like it's a bit tricky i find that very like non-relaxing <laughs> which is not good my mum absolutely hates really flashy tree lights because they give her a headache so you're making some adjustments aren't you just a couple victoria's very particular about how the lights have to be Victoria is a bit particular about how everything on the tree has to be <laughs> and present wrapping. And... I think that's looking pretty good. So this is the first decoration to go on the tree every year. Ian's making fun of Pipe Cleaner Man. I'm not making fun of Pipe Cleaner Man, but there he is with his creepy little face. Pipe Cleaner Man is, I think he's over 70 years old. He belonged to my granddad and he used to have candles in the, like those rings that he's got <laughs> for hands, which can you even imagine putting actual lit candles on a tree? That's terrifying. But I still have him. He was part of a set and he's the only remaining one. He is not in good shape these days, but I still have to have it on the tree because it reminds me of my granddad. Yeah, but you don't think he's creepy? He's a little creepy. I get why people even would totally be freaked out. all of him. his friends went away and died and he's the only one left. Well, he's special. And he's got a creepy little face. He's very special and very old. He is very old, I'll give you that. So he's allowed to be, like, okay. not in the best shape ever. I'm trying to see if I can get his creepy face. I can't get it to focus, but there, is, there he is. There's pipe, pipe cleaner man. Phase one, we have the large tree baubles on. And I know in the US you guys call them Christmas ornaments. So you think probably think baubles is a funny word, but that is what we always call them here. <laughs> we do have some ornaments as well. Yeah, we do have ornaments. Do, do people in the States ever call them baubles? Let me know, because I really don't know. But let me show you some of the other ones we have. So Lisa bought me this really cute set of mickey head ones and there's also a mickey hand these were from primark i believe then spoiler on the disney haul these are a few that i bought on this trip i got the gingerbread mickey and this little kind of peppermint mickey head i also have a doll whip one which i'll show you in a minute i also got this starbucks cup which has a really cute little happy holidays thing on the other side i really loved that we have Mr. Toad, of course. He's going in the middle. Here is the Dole Whip one that we got. I love that. It's so cool. And we do also have this Pascal one, but I need Ian to have a look at it because I bought this from Shop Disney and it's supposed to light up, but it doesn't. Oh. So I don't know whether we need to like unscrew this little bit underneath I'll have a look at that. and do something or whether it's actually defective and I need to send it back so we will see but this one is really cute too okay so apparently it is working ian just switched it on straight away i tried switching this on about six or seven times before i went away and it wouldn't switch on so there we go it is working just needed Yay! a magic touch but how cute is this i love this and here we go the star is on the top we've got 
little Baymax ornaments are all on there now and the little baubles are kind of dotted around. Should we turn the light off and see what it looks like? Yeah. I do love a Christmas tree. In an ideal world, like I said, I would have the warm coloured lights, not the kind of cool toned ones, but that's being a little fussy. And I think I do have some of those somewhere, but we've moved quite a bit over the years and <laughs> I couldn't find all of our old decorations. So we had to go with these, but I think it's cute. I think we could definitely fit more on here though. I feel like it's a little sparse, but mm. you know, Ian's just like, don't buy more decorations. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just about to get on with some editing and I found the Malteser tree decorations I bought. So I'm gonna add these to the tree. I totally forgot that we even had them. It's later on now and Ian is having the rest of his pizza and we are watching the middle, but we're watching the Christmas episode from every season. So while we were decorating the tree, we kind of started that off and now we've just continued all the way through, haven't we? So yeah. it's pretty cool actually. Yeah, we're up to season five. And I'm just having a cup of tea that Ian made me in another spoiler for the Disney haul, um, which is this new mug I got. It's one of the thermal ones, but it also just looks like a regular mug. I actually got it because the rooms at Pop Century, although they have a coffee maker, there were no mugs. So I kind of needed one to drink my tea out of because it doesn't taste right out of a paper cup in my opinion. So I got that new one. And who is living for my new vlogging backdrop? Because I vlog a lot from this chair. How pretty is our tree? <laughs> I actually love it, it's really cute. And um, I never really feel Christmassy until the tree's up. Uh, the other thing I do need to do to feel properly festive is wrap the presents, which I will probably try and do in the next few days. I will obviously vlog that because a lot of you have asked to see how I do my Christmas bows on my wrapping. And also I need to tidy up because there's unpacking to be done. There's like stuff everywhere for the haul video and it's just generally a bit of a mess around here. I guess I should buy some presents, right? Yeah, Ian can't wrap any presents until he buys them, so might need to do that. I've got like a whole week. Yeah, you better get on that. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to show you a few things that have come in my PO box and just a couple of other things that I've got as well. I had this really cute package from Big Potato Games and they've sent me their new version of Don't Get Got and it's the Christmas version. So they do a main kind of a bigger version of this game and basically it's kind of like a ongoing game that you can play over the festive season and you could say do it from Christmas Eve through to Boxing Day and everyone has to do little kind of not really challenges but you have to do things and try and get away with it without someone calling you out on it so for example it might be get somebody to say milk for, just for an example I don't that's probably not a thing and you have to do that without anyone saying to you oh you're trying to do one of your missions and then if you get them to do it then you obviously get a point. So that's basically how it works. There's all kinds of different things. Really, really fun. And it's the kind of thing that everybody can get involved in. And because it's ongoing, you don't have to kind of sit down for a set amount of time to play. It's just like a really fun thing to do. So I thought that was great. So thank you so much, Big Potato Games. We will be playing that on Christmas Day at least, if not Christmas Eve and Boxing Day as well. And I also had a package and this card from Karen. How beautiful is this card? And she sent me a couple of items. She said that basically she knew I would find them funny and that I would totally get why these items are hilarious, which they are. So the first thing is this key ring. And secondly is one of these cable covers that you put on to stop your um, charging cable from kind of fraying where it normally does where you kind of plug it in and these are just hilarious I love friends I love 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 it I watch it all the time and I just thought these were so funny so thank you so much Karen thank you for thinking of me yes they are hilarious and I love them and I also just wanted to show you these these did not come in my PO box I bought these but when I was in Florida I took with me a little miniature version of this imperial leather foam burst that came in one of my glossy boxes and I normally just use regular shower gel and I 
loved it it was amazing you only need the tiniest bit it completely foams up you can use it to shave your legs you only need the smallest bit and i was totally like blown away by how awesome it was so i bought a couple of the full size ones and they had this fragrance amazing which i've actually had in their regular shower gel so i know i really love that one and they also have this unicorn marshmallow fragrance all of their fragrances from imperial leather are really good but i'm so excited to use these and i think they were on sale at £1.75 but you only need the smallest bit so this huge thing will last like the longest time is awesome so I can highly highly recommend these and Christmas Pudding Man has taken up residence here on the windowsill. My mum made this little guy. She actually has one herself and she also made one for Ian's mum. And he is just so awesome. I love his little dangly legs. You can kind of sit him anywhere. And my mum just makes everything. She makes clothes. She makes such cute things. Um, she doesn't have an Etsy shop or anything, I'm afraid. But look at his hair as well. I mean... How cute. So he is just gonna hang out here on this windowsill. So I'm kind of excited right now because I completely forgot about a few decorations that we have. So this little one I got last year and I'll do it carefully, but if you pull this little cord, basically the legs and arms go up and down. I got this one in Hollywood Studios. It's so cute. So thank goodness I found that in a box because can you imagine if I'd have missed that off? And we also have Jimny. I'm so glad I found him as well. So I've now got Mr. Toad and Jimny, who are my faves. So this is adorable. This one was from the Christmas store at Disney Springs. And I got this one years ago, probably in like 2011 or something like that. And also to go with the Starbucks cup that we have, we have this little Starbucks coffee pot, which is so cute. So I think I'm going to call it a day on this vlog. I feel like it's gonna be super short. It's the first one of Vlogmas and we only just got back. So obviously we got up late and we're just kind of readjusting, but hopefully there was enough here that you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I will be vlogging every day um, for 12 days and over Christmas, we are gonna be going away to Orchardly, which is where we got married. I think I've already told you that in a weekly vlog. And there is no signal there in terms of um, internet and data and all that kind of stuff. It is totally awful. Unless they have changed it and they have free Wi-Fi, I probably won't be able to upload while I'm there. So what will happen when we get to kind of Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day is that those days will all go up um, after Christmas. So the 12 days of Vlogmas will actually go to like the 28th or something, just while I get everything uploaded. I will do my best to get everything up as quick as I can. Uh, but yeah, I'll be vlogging all the way up until Boxing Day, I think, yes. So let me know if you are excited for these vlogs. We're gonna be doing lots of festive stuff. I'm definitely gonna show you my wrapping, like I said, because I know loads of you have asked about that and I do need to get it finished because I'm just looking at it right now. There's a lot of it there and also the flat is a disaster between all of the Christmas stuff, all of my stuff laid out to do my Disney haul and all the suitcases that are yet to be unpacked. It is just, it's not good. But anyway, I'm not worrying about it. I'm gonna sort it out in the next couple of days. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along on Instagram and Facebook. In January, one of my goals is to post on my Victoria in detail Instagram more frequently because I'm a little bit sporadic with it at the moment to say the least. So make sure you follow along on there and I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!